Let's move on to delay. All right, so I pulled up Wave Super Tap right alongside my vocal here as an effects return. Let's hear what the vocal sounds like with no delay. Summertime, and I'm driving away. And with a lot of delay. Summertime, Summertime, and I'm driving, and I'm driving away. away. So that's what a delay sounds like. Let's look at the parameters of the delay. One of the first things you want to set is the time of the delay. When do the repeats happen? Shortly after the direct signal or in longer intervals? So you can either do that loose in milliseconds or if your song is locked to the tempo of the host, it's easy to set it to quarter notes, eighth notes, right within the plugin. So let's go 16th for a minute get that sort of slap effect, kind of like Elvis used to use. Summertime, and I'm driving away. All right, let's pull it back up to quarter notes so it's longer. Summertime, and I'm driving away. Okay, so that's the time of the delay. The second thing you want to set is the feedback. Feedback determines how many repeats you have. Do you have just one or do you have many? So for example, if I pull my feedback down, Summertime, and I'm driving away. pretty much just one repeat. If I pull the feedback up, Summertime, and I'm driving away. in this example, that's too much, but you get the idea. All right, I'm going to pull the feedback down. So we have the time and the feedback. Third thing you want to set is what happens to those delays. You can manipulate them in all sorts of ways. For example, right in SuperTap here, you can put an EQ on it, a filter. So in this case, I'm going to put a hard bell filter at about 1.6 or 7, push it, and I'm going to get that sort of telephony effect just on the repeats, not on the direct signal. This is what it sounds like. Summertime, and I'm driving away. You can of course also modulate the repeats, have a little chorus effect on them right here within SuperTap. Keep in mind that if your song isn't locked to the host tempo of the track, you can tap the tap pad in SuperPad along with the song where you hear the delays in your head and they'll be placed right there. Now of course you can have more than one delay line, so I can take the delay we listen to, pull it to the left, open a second delay line here, put it on the right side, and put them at different times. It'll definitely give you a sense of motion and width. Let's listen to that. I put the first delay, it's still at a quarter note, and the second one is at a quarter triplet. Summertime, and I'm driving away. It makes everything sound big. Let's look at another delay real quick, the H delay. Some people prefer a delay that looks like this. It may be a little easier to use, and it sounds different too. It's a little dirtier, a little more lo-fi, and it has a different character to it. This is the default preset. Let's hear what that sounds like. Summertime, and I'm driving away. Okay, so again, we talked about time. Let's change the time to quarter note. Feedback looks about right give it the analog flavor, and I'm going to press the lo-fi button. Maybe put a little filter on the return. Let's hear what that sounds like. Summertime, and I'm driving away. Going to pull the feedback up here. So as you can hear, that's pretty cool. It regenerates into itself and becomes really lo-fi at the end. Let's check out what the ping pong does for us. Summertime, and I'm driving away. So that's what the ping pong does. It takes one line, throws it to one side, back into the other, that throws it back into the other side, and as a result, you get a cool wide stereo effect. One trick people do is put delays just at the end of phrases sometimes. That way, you can keep the phrase itself 
less muddy, with more definition, but the end of the phrase has this nice tail to it. People also open a delay sometimes just on a chorus. Do that, especially when the vocalist opens up with a long note, and it kind of sounds like they're doubled, it gives it a very uh, exciting effect. Give it a try. Another thing people may do is put a delay through a reverb. That way, the delay has less definition, which is sometimes what you want, it just sounds kind of more washy, and the reverb extends longer. Let's try that right now. I'm going to pull up Waves R verb again, right after my delay. Let's put the big warm plate again. Let's hear what that sounds like. Summertime and I'm driving away. So now you have the delay going into reverb and it sounds different than having just a delay or just a reverb. Some people prefer to use brighter reverbs if they're short, darker ones if they're longer because it may be a little too harsh if it's a long and bright. Let's give that a listen. Here's a relatively long reverb, and here it is, dark. Summertime, and I'm driving. And I'm going to brighten it up with the EQ that's built right into our verb here. Summertime, and I'm driving. Away. Sometimes that works, sometimes brighter works better on shorter reverbs. All right, that's it for now. I hope that was useful. Put your comments on YouTube, I always like to read them. And I put up another video called Reverse Reverb, if you want to see how to use a reverb in reverse for a cool effect. Another one called Cleaner Snare, also about reverbs. And I'll see you guys next time. Take care. And all things are